Hi, I'm Tyson. I'm Colin. I'm Ryan. And I'm Adam. And we're the Gamesmiths, and we're here to learn how to play Everyday Epic. That's right. About Everyday Epic. Had a tough day, a tough week, a tough month. We've all been there. But along with those discouraging things our brain and the 24-7 news cycle dish up, there's plenty of good news, too. To see it, we just have to pay attention. And that's what Everyday Epic is about. Noticing the awesome stuff that happens every day but tends to get overlooked. Like a dog's wagging tail, someone holding the door for you, the smell of crayons, or a child's giggle. Small, thi small wonderful things. Epic. So, uh, we have our decks of cards here. Our everyday epic cards and our category cards. We're going to choose a player to be the first starting judge. Uh, I guess we can roll for that for the actual game. But for demonstration purposes, that'll be me. And I will deal out seven cards to everyone. But we're just going to shortcut it here. With three to do a little quick sample round. Um, the judge, moi will choose a category card from the top of the stack and will read the phrase aloud and place the card face up. So here it's cool. Keen, also AKA, we got keen, swell, groovy, neat, marvelous, fabulous. Um, okay. And so players, except the judge, Quickly choose the everyday epic card from their hand that best fits this category. So pick your coolest card. Uh, players with wild cards. So we have um, new category, custom category, or reuse category. We'll find one of those in here. Um, there's not a lot of them, but simply, oh, there we go. New category card. So the current category card is discarded and the next category in the deck is turned over. Judge remains the same. Pick any category. Uh, the, cate uh, the card holder can choose any card from the discarded pile um, or any card from the yet to be played pile. And just so basically you just get to pick whatever category you want. So, and these are all epic cards that you'll get to your hands. And then create your own category. The category can, uh, card holder can make up any category at all, even the most ridiculously narrow, ca nar ridiculously narrow category conceivable. But it's still up to the judge to select the best card. So we got a few wild cards. If you have one of those, you have to play it quick. You know, you got to play it quickly. It's up to the judge to decide whether or not you played it quickly enough. So essentially, you just either play it right away. You know, the 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 the, the goal is to kind of keep everyone moving quick. They have a quick play variant here. Um, actually, it says if you're a bit short on time, you won't, might want to do the quick pick option, which is uh, the last everyday epic card placed on the table will not be judged and returned to the player's hand. Mm -hmm. You snooze, you That's lose. So we might try uh, we might try that out there a little bit. Um, but essentially, you have to play it quickly. So if we're playing the quick pick, that means if you're the last person to put your card down, it doesn't count. But if you're one of the one of the first two to put your cards down. Then you can go ahead and uh, do the everyday, okay. uh, or yeah, then then do whatever it says on the category card. So the judge will mix up the everyday epics. I don't know which one. There's four of them. Oh, there's four of them. Yes. Okay. Someone's cheating. Yes. I cheated. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheated. So we mix them up. I better win. He always cheats. <laughs> um, <laughs> so no one knows who did what. And then we'll turn them over, read them aloud, and I'll pick the one that I think is the most cool. So turning off all the lights during a thunderstorm and watching the lightning, popsicles, <laughs> hearing a song you used to love but haven't heard in years, and singing in the shower. And I will go ahead and say... I like turning all the lights off and watching the thunderstorm. You had two no and you stay. Oh, yeah. Both of mine are cooler than your. No, my other one wasn't cooler. Popsicles. I, I had to cheat. Popsicles are quite literally. I didn't have cool. that many cool options. I yeah. Um, <laughs> so to keep score, you put the category cards you won. So. Oh, no, I'm oh, sorry. So category, Tyson yeah. won cool, so he gets to put cool in front of himself. Pretty cool. Um, and then the role of the judge. Super uncool. The role of the judge then passes to the player on the left. 
and the new judge deals everybody enough cards to bring everybody back to seven. And you keep going until somebody wins the game. Since we have four players, we're going to need six cards to win. So the first player to six cards is the winner. Mm. Um, and that is the game. Cool. So we're just looking for, we do have some playing tips here. So uh, it's okay to play cards that aren't a perfect fit. Judges will pick the most creative, humorous, or interesting card. Lobbying and table talk are encouraged. Uh, playing I love lobbying. Right? Playing everyday epic cards yeah, I know. that appeal to the judge may improve your chances <laughs> of winning. So consider your audience. Uh, holders of custom category cards can make up at any category at all. Um, but it's still the judge's decision on who wins. The judge can consider any factor in making a decision, even seemingly irrelevant points. And the judge's decision is final, but it's good form for the judge to at least to attempt to explain their verdict. Uh, and so that's about it. Any questions on how to play the game? I'm good. Good, 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 good. Good, yep. good. All right. Excited. Seems like we're all good. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the game.